and salt water. They come in all colors and shapes. Most fish have bones and no lungs. They are able to get oxygen from water that passes over their gills. Huge, tiny, speedy, slow, they all move about using their fins and tail. Some live near the surface and can leap out of the water. Others live in the dark, cold depths of the ocean. They have been living on this planet for almost a half billion years. There are more than 30,000 different kinds of them, and their home covers almost three quarters of the Earth's surface. What are they? Answer, fish. What is a fish? It's an animal that lives in water. Fish come in many different shapes and sizes. They can be as big as a school bus or as small as a grain of rice. They can be round like a balloon or long and thin like a pencil. All fish have fins. A fish moves its caudal fin or tail from side to side to propel itself through the water. It uses its other fins to steer and to stop. All fish also have a backbone, which makes them vertebrates, like us. But unlike people, fish are cold-blooded. Their body temperature changes with the temperature of the water around them. Fish bodies are usually covered with shiny little plates called scales. I see the brilliant ocean, I smell the gentle breeze I'm looking for adventure so I gather all my things I think I'll take a fishnet, a bucket and some tools For off I go collecting so I'll wear old tennis shoes Adventures by the ocean with crabs and fish and snails I search for little creatures, who knows what I'll unveil I use a magnifying glass to see in great detail each creature that I gently scoop and put inside my pail A shovel will be needed and a smaller net to find The crabs that will be hiding close by the ocean tide I'll bring a plastic jar to gather water and small plants I'll take it home to look under my microscope's clear glass Adventures by the ocean with crabs and fish and snails I search for little creatures who knows what I'll unveil I use a magnifying glass to see in great detail Each creature that I gently scoop and put inside my pail Each creature that I gently scoop and put inside my pail Do you have a favorite ocean animal? Mine is the dolphin. Dolphins are mammals, like whales. They live in groups called pods and are intelligent and playful. They dive deep for food, staying under for eight minutes. They resurface to breathe through the blowhole in their head. Dolphins make high-pitched sounds, clicks, and whistles. They use these to talk and send sound waves through the water. When a sound wave hits an object, like a fish, 
it bounces back to the dolphin, telling him where dinner is. Listen to the clicks and whistles. It is perfect harmony. Listen to the orchestra. It's the dolphin symphony. They seem to have a special language that is all their own. They communicate with special noise. Is this really a tiny horse in the sea? No, it's a fish. A seahorse flutters its fins to slowly swim upright until it finds a bed of seagrass or seaweed. Curling its tail around a plant or coral, it stays to suck up food into its snout. New baby seahorses, called fry, are born in a special way. The female places eggs in a pouch on the male's belly, where they safely develop over a few weeks. Then the male releases all the little fry, hundreds at a time.
best fish qualities it does not possess. Though it has fins to help it swim around, it's not a good swimmer, scientists have found. It is a seahorse, seahorse, swimming in the sea, changing colors to protect itself from its enemies. The male seahorse, he does an amazing thing. He carries and delivers all the babies. Now the seahorse can be red, yellow, white, or green, depending on the color of its surroundings. It camouflages as well, so it won't be seen and confused. The biggest animals are whales. These huge sea creatures look like fish, but they are mammals. They have lungs, not gills, and they come to the surface to breathe in air. When they exhale, they send up a spout of air and water. Humpback whales are as big as school buses. These whales are famous for communicating with long songs. They are also playful. They often leap out of the water, twisting and twirling before falling back into the sea. Blue whales are enormous, the largest animals known. Some grow as long as 100 feet when they are full grown. And most are said to weigh more than the biggest dinosaurs. So they confidently swim around for they have you bred at oars. Blue whale, blue whale swimming in the sea. Catching all the little krill with your special baleen. Blue whale, blue whale, you eat tons each day. For you need to feed your little calf before you too can play. They're warm-blooded mammals that spend their lives at sea. They come to the surface, for whales need air to breathe. Shrimp-like creatures known as krill, this whale likes to eat. For blue whales have baleen because they don't have any teeth. Blue whales are baleen whales. This means they do not have any teeth with which to eat. They have something called baleen on both sides of their upper jaw. Baleen acts like a strainer. Whales will suck water and krill into their mouths, shut their mouths, and then push the water out with their tongues. Then the whales will eat the krill. When a little calf is born, you won't believe its size. Weighing over five tons, this newborn's quite a prize. Depending on the mother for milk and nourishment, the calf will gain 200 pounds each day, a wonderment. Blue whale, blue swimming in the sea catching all the little krill with your special baleen blue whale blue whale you eat tons each day for you need to feed your little calf before you too can play more big bodies of the big blue Walruses are big, blubbery animals related to seals. All that blubber keeps them warm in the cold Arctic waters. The males have long tusks that help defend against polar bears and orcas. Baby 
belong to a special group. They are called pinnipeds. It means flipper feet and they're not underfed. Their blubber keeps them warm for the water is ice cold. They have long strong tusks, which are teeth I'm told. This has been brought to you by Twin Sisters Digital Media and Evergreen Podcasts. Be sure to hit subscribe. Parents, for an opportunity to win a $50 gift card, find us on Facebook by searching Twin Sisters Digital Media. Follow our page. Then just like and share our latest post. The winners will be announced on Facebook a week later. If your children enjoyed these songs and stories, go to TwinSisters.com to find even more ways for them to sing and learn. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for our free download of the day giveaways and promotions on exciting new digital learning content like these and much more. And visit our friends at evergreenpodcasts.com. Thank you for joining us at Storytime Anytime. Anytime.